car or again producing milk. That is the Gloucester and some of the genetics there is some of the oldest genetics you'll find in cattle in this country and it's a compliment to those who still breed them, the job they do in maintaining the breed here in this country. The Guernsey and the Jersey are the last of our dairy breeds here today. The Guernsey and the Jersey, both from the Channel Islands, both high quality milk producers. The Guernsey's generally slightly bigger and she leads the Channel Island parade. They produce high quality milk, high butterfat milk, milk used for cream, for that breakfast milk with the cream on the top that you as a consumer can buy with confidence knowing it's come from healthy dairy cows as we have on parade here. Just of interest, a note to take away if you like, the Jersey is the second most popular breed of dairy cattle in the world to the Holstein and you look and see footage of uh, farming in New Zealand and Australia in particular, but particularly in New Zealand. There are huge numbers of Jerseys producing quality milk in that area of the country where the grass is rich and where a rich milk is produced from the Jersey dairy cow. The Dexters complete the parade here as they always do. Dual purpose, Irish in origin, and Jay and Peter Hunt uh, produce the champion. That cow, Saltair Sharp, is from a 40 cow herd that has been maintained, I won't actually give away the, how many years, Jay, but, for, but from within the 60s that herd was first uh, developed. That cow has taken 10 championships last year and four already this year, but Jay does the job commercially. She's selling good breeding females to make a living from her Dexters, and she's also selling uh, steers to Grace Conservation Ground and also steers to produce good milk.